going on everybody this is Jay from Maji and Jay today in this video I would like to provide a tutorial on how to replace your motor in case your hoverboard breaks down let's get started this balance scooter came also from iBaby888 I got the upgraded model which is the one with the rubberized uh, fenders here and also it has the blue boards just like the black one so yes this one is of high quality and even though I don't have any issues with it I just decided that for the sake of a lot of you guys out there provide a tutorial on how to replace the wheel. The process is very simple. First of all, you guys are going to need a Allen screwdriver and then you're also going to need a Phillips screwdriver. In my case, I got this electronic one. In case you guys are interested, I got this for only 25 US dollars. It's very cool because you can control the torque on it and um, also it's electronic. You guys can see it doesn't require any batteries whatsoever and the power on this thing is absolutely amazing. So yes, in case you guys are interested, I can provide the link below. Just let me know in the comment section and I will do so for you. So after you have your tools, the process is very simple. Make sure that your balance scooter is powered off, of course. Then after that, we can go ahead and flip it. In my case, I will be doing it on the battery side because it's a lot easier for me. That way I can disconnect it. And at the same time, replace the scooter without having to unassemble the other side. But if you guys are replacing the wheel on the side where the battery is now located, I would recommend just opening both sides. It's exactly the same way so that you can disconnect the battery and be safe. Once you guys have located which motor is the one causing the issue, you can go ahead and get started by removing nine different screws located on the bottom plastic. We got five on the back side and we have four on the front side, making it a total of nine. So let me go ahead and get started by removing the screws. Okay, so once you have removed the nine screws, you can go ahead and lift the cover likewise, and it's going to come right off. There's not a lot of pressure required. Now, in this particular model that I got from iBaby888, they uh, happen to glue all the uh, connectors to the boards. So I cannot right now disconnect the LED light from the board, unfortunately, but you guys should be able to. This is one of those rare scooters that they just decided to put glue on every single connector. As a matter of fact, I had to take it apart before so that I could remove all the glue located on the connectors of the motor. So let me go ahead and for now set this aside. You guys are going to listen all kinds of screws just falling. Don't worry about it. Again, in your case, you have to disconnect this plug on this side and the LED light is going to come off. So that's going to make it a lot easier for you guys. Next, you need to remove the battery holder here because we might have to remove it. Um, also, we need to get access to these wires right here that go directly to the motor. So let me go ahead and remove the four screws located on the battery holder. Here we go. Okay, so once you remove those four screws, now you can go ahead and remove this clip out of the plastic. Make sure that you get all the wires away from the battery holder. Now we can set this aside. Also, uh, some of the screws will fall on the actual frame. Make sure that you guys try to pull those out so that you don't lose them. Now the next step will be to remove the four screws holding in place the gyroscope. We got two on the upper side or on the front side of the scooter and two on the back side of the scooter. So now let me go ahead and get this lifted, likewise. So, so far the process is uh, quite simple, if you guys ask me. So there we go. Now we can set this aside. Um, in case you guys want to go ahead and disconnect the wires, it's totally up to you. Now in this case, since we are going to be disconnecting the motor, this is where you guys want to go ahead and disconnect the battery so that we don't have any power on these wires whatsoever. So let me go ahead and do that right now. And there we go. Right now we don't have any power. So the next step will be to remove all the wires. We got this clip going directly into the motor. You guys are going to notice this uh, black wire that goes directly into it and then you can easily know which uh, clip it is because we have a very similar clip on this side uh, but this is only for the gyro so let me go ahead and disconnect it okay 
Next, you're going to find three different wires connected again to the motor and these are the ones providing the power. So the first one is going to be blue and it comes with this uh, green connector. All you have to do is just pull it and that's about it. It's very simple to do so. The next one we're going to have here is the yellow wire. Make sure that you guys pull it the same way that you pulled the other one out. All of them are exactly the same way. Uh, lastly, we're going to have the green one and this is the last one. So now you guys can notice that the motor is completely disconnected. Now we will have to remove the four Allen screws holding the motor in place. And this is going to have a bracket as well. I'll be showing you that in just a moment. For right now, let me take it apart. So now I just got them loose. Be aware that you guys will need to provide a lot of force at the beginning in order to get them loose. So now after removing those four screws, we are all set to remove this metal piece holding the motor in place. And this can go either way, so you guys really don't need to put it in certain position, which is definitely a plus. And now the motor is ready to come off. And here it is guys. This is the supposed defective motor, even though it doesn't have any issues whatsoever. Now you're going to notice here that this uh, rim is a little bit different. This is the common rim and this is the newer uh, style rim. So I am sure that this is the upgraded model uh, in case you guys want to know. So let me go ahead and set this motor aside. Alrighty guys, so right now we are all set to go ahead and install the new motor. Let's go ahead and grab it here and the wires do have different colors from the old motor. Let me see if I can actually grab the old motor here. I do apologize guys, my space is very, very limited here, but I tried to do my best. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, the colors are a little bit different from each motor. We can see that the green on the newer motor is a little bit darker than on the old motor. So these are maybe made by different manufacturers. I do know that this rim is a new updated rim of uh, late 2015 and early 2016. Uh, most hoverboards right now uh, do have this type of motor with this rim, which is really, really cool. I do like it more than the older rim. So let me go ahead and get this hooked up for you guys. The process is just the reverse thing that I just completed. Uh, first of all, make sure that this flat side is facing up and not down. After you place the motor on the hoverboard, you guys will need to install the bracket so that you can go ahead and balance the motor to where it's not hitting the fender. Now, in this process, you guys will need to put at least two screws before you can balance this to where it's not touching the fender. I'll be showing you that in just a moment. Also, make sure that you guys put them back in a cross matter. Likewise, you're going to put one screw here first and the other on the opposite side of it, which is right here. You don't want to get these too tight right now because you will need to balance this thing to where you're making sure that it is not touching the fender even though right now it is not. But I will still have to tighten the other one just to make sure. Okay guys, and right now I have it pretty tight and I can move it and so far it's not touching the fender. This is all you need to worry about because this thing is adjustable. You can push it a little bit in or a little bit out. But in my case, I got it right from the first try, which is cool. So let me go ahead and finish the assembly process here. Alrighty guys, so now after this is completed, we can go ahead and install the gyro back in place. Let's see if I can complete this without having to make a mess around here. I think that all the screws for the gyro are pre-installed, so that's cool. I don't have to put them back in there. That's very easy. Um, again, this wouldn't be happening. Just uh, cover dragging around if the wire wasn't uh, glued on there. I am afraid that I might break the uh, connection point if I force it too much. So I just decided to leave it on there. Okay. And I believe I got it in place on both sides. Let me just go ahead and confirm this. And yes, it is in place so far. So now let me go ahead and grab my electric screwdriver. There we go. That's one. I got two. Three and four. Voila. So make sure that the connection point is by the middle side. There we go. And I believe that the other one is also on the same position. That's very neat. Let me just check here real quick. And so far it appears to be balanced. So we are all set to go. So now with the gyro set on place here, let me go ahead and connect all the wires. This one is the multicolor one. Uh, this is the one responsible for the gyro functions and whatnot. Also guys, make sure that uh, 
the motor wire is nice and loose on here that is not really tight with the battery. If it is, just move the battery to the side a little bit. There we go, giving it a little bit more clearance. So now let me go ahead and uh, complete this. All the wires should fit perfectly well, as you can tell right here. And now let's go ahead and connect all the wires for the power. We got yellow with yellow. Then we got green with green. Make sure that the colors are correct. And also blue with blue. And this is going to complete the wiring connection, as you guys can tell. And then lastly, we're going to go ahead and connect the battery before we install the battery holder itself. So now guys, we want to go ahead and hide all these wires just like they were before, except for this one here. Make sure that this one is not hiding because it wasn't hiding before. There we go. Now we're all set to go ahead and connect the battery holder. There we go. Go ahead and put this through here. I do apologize, my vision from here is a little bit tough because I'm looking at this on a bad angle. But there we go guys, right now we have it on place and this is going to go right here after I am finished. It kind of clips on on there and then these wires are going to be hidden inside of the uh, corner here. So let me go ahead and get these screws on. And now we are getting into the last screw of the battery holder. All right guys, so make sure that you get a good view on how everything has been installed. Make sure that you do it exactly the same way. Again, I do apologize for having this thing hanging around. Uh, normally we would not have this, uh, you know, just hanging around the way it is. So now we are all set to go ahead and install the covers or cover, I should say. So now with the plastic in place and all the screws pre-installed, we are ready to tighten them up. Here we go. Okay guys, so right now we have completed the tutorial. Now it's time for testing. So let me go ahead and flip this thing around. Uh, normally you would want to balance it, but in this case, I'm just going to provide a debrief testing. I do apologize for the angle here. Let me go ahead and power this thing on. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is pretend like I'm stepping on it. There it is. It's working perfectly well, guys. Okay, so that has completed the tutorial. If you guys like always have any questions, don't forget to comment below. Also keep in mind that I will be provided the link for the part and also the scooter in case you guys want to know about it. Make sure that if you guys like this rubber pieces that you let know iBaby that you won this model. Otherwise, he will send you the uh, one that I got before, which is the one without the rubber piece. And with that being said, guys, don't forget to comment below if you have any questions again. Like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on my next one.